What's up, y'all? This is Chris with No Limit Squad, your personal ISO chain and fitness vlogging channel. Today, we're going to go over a question from Eric, and hopefully, I don't butcher this name, Varen Thara Jujuroan. And the question is, how long should we rest in between our ISO chain sets? This is an interesting one um, because the answer, the simple answer is it varies, but uh, let's get into why it varies. Um, so, just like with any exercise that we do in the weight room or calisthenics or whatever the rest time varies based off of what we're doing with the iso chain here it just depends on what our goals are night the nice thing about the iso chain is that regardless of what the answer is we really don't need a lot of rest time in general with the uh, isometric training in fact some isometric experts recommend just 10 seconds which is what i've been doing for the power 45 routine for the uh, sweet 16 routine i only did six second rest so six 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 but for the power 45 i've been doing 10 second rest which has been working fantastically so longer rest times can be more beneficial as well something to keep in mind the main thing is we don't want to rush through our iso chain workouts um so you don't want three or four second but like you still want to give yourself a rest in between these contractions if that makes sense um, in the isometric manual by Paul Wade, there was actually a study. I'm just going to read off of it here real quick. Salter compared subjects who performed either 15 isometric holds per minute or two per minute. Over a four week period, she found that although the 15 per minute routine made subjects feel more tired, the two per minute routine actually produced better results in strength gain. By that example, they're trying to increase their muscular endurance, right? How long can their muscles hold a contraction? In that example, I just referenced uh, with Salter, two reps per minute protocol, 20 seconds is actually what you want. And here's why, right? Um, for those that have been using the ISO chain for a little bit, we understand now that uh, there's that little bit of rise time before the peak contraction starts to hit. So for example, uh, my contractions that I hold are still six seconds. So for the first couple seconds, it's rising to that top and then it's pushing with everything that we have. Um, so those two first two or three seconds isn't our best. It's those last three, if that makes sense. Putting that in a perspective, if you want to hold the contraction for a little longer to, to compensate for that rise time, um, then it would end up being something like more along the lines of 10 seconds. So for example, in the uh, isometric manual here, two reps per minute protocol, four second rise time, six second hold. So that's 10 seconds total of the contraction because the four seconds of rise time does count. And then 20 seconds to reset. And we go into it right again. So that's 30 seconds total. So 10 seconds for the isometric contraction, 20 seconds for the rest time. That's 30 seconds. Do it again. That's one minute. Now that's just for time under tension and muscular endurance, right? What if we're going the other route? For those of us that have been lifting for a while or have been doing any type of exercise, 20 seconds really doesn't seem like a lot, right? Especially if you've been doing uh, the iso chain for a little bit and you've been doing um, what I've been doing, which is a six second or a 10 second rest, 20 seconds almost seems like it's a, it's a bit much. First, let's compare it to weightlifting, right? So we know that uh, for big strength movements, um, we want to wait about two to four, maybe five minutes in between sets for your big two to three rep lifts that constitute over 85% of our body's ability to move that weight. Hypertrophy being about a minute, maybe a minute and a half, but usually a minute. And then muscular endurance, we have even less rest time, right? So we know that in the weight room. With the iso chain, it's actually a little bit, it's so, it's that same principle just really really condensed for for isometrics with the uh, iso chain our muscles especially for those um conditioned athletes our muscles recover a lot faster than doing traditional weightlifting for example i'm doing three sets of each exercise in my uh, power 45 routine with a 10 second break in between for this and i've noticed that you don't really need to rest substantially when performing these isometric contractions the workload for gaining a lot of power because my, my routine right now for the iso chain is more on to gain a lot of power, a lot of strength, not really hypertrophy, just a lot of strength. We don't really need that much time in between versus like if we did a time mode where we're trying to really see how long we can hold the contraction for, well then we're starting to go into more duration. So of course our muscles need more time to recover because we were under the contraction for X amount of time versus the strength gains that um, and the power 45 routine that we're just doing it for like six seconds, 10 if you count the uh, the rise time as well. One thing that we can do is we can, we can rest even longer for even more recovery, but we definitely don't need like a minute after doing one isometric contraction. Personally, I'd say 10 seconds. What I've been doing is I'd say 10 seconds for strength training, 
20 seconds or more for our muscular endurance exercise. One thing to keep in mind is that fatigue after isometric training begins to radically level off after three minutes. If your rest time is over three minutes, you're resting too long. You shouldn't even need three minutes. All right, so in conclusion, we should just be resting anywhere between six to 10 seconds between sets for your strength hypertrophy lift, okay, between sets. For those time under tension exercises, it should be at least 20 seconds. If you need more time, then that's fine, but it shouldn't exceed three minutes. That seems to be the, the consensus here based off of the uh, information from uh, Paul Wade's isometric manual. Seems to be working pretty well as really, I really haven't needed to rest more than 10 seconds when I'm doing um, either the Sweet 16 or the Power 45. Uh, it just seems like I'm just sitting there twiddling my thumbs if I miss it, you know what I mean? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be, if this helped, uh, be sure to drop a like, comment. And if you guys haven't yet joined the squad, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come join the squad. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.